there, everybody. My name is Yasmin Ellis, and welcome to London SDMC's YouTube channel. As you know, on this channel, we do career path interviews. And today, we've got an amazing guest. His name is Andrea Catinella, who is a filmmaker, director, and writer. Let's see what he's going to tell us. Andrea, how's it going? Uh, very well, thank you, Yasmin. Uh, I'm happy. There's like warm uh, weather. I'm super happy. Amazing weather, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So we're in Little Venice. Great place for an artist like ourselves. <laughs> Beautiful places, honestly. So where are you Amazing from? Uh, I'm from Italy, from Sicily, to be honest. Yes. Syracuse. Totally Amazing. Italy. So how did you come to England? Uh, I came in 2016. I was living in Spain, then I came back home and I came in England. Uh, yeah, it was 2016. Yeah. And did you come here for the purpose of education or for work? It's quite strange because I arrived here, I was just working, I was working in hospitality, then I had the chance to um, start in, in a university. So I've done a few interviews, then I've done a few exams, and then I go into this university, started studying business and management. Studied business and management, which university? Uh, it was Northampton University. Okay, Northampton University, and what was that like? Was it nice? Oh, uh, yeah, it was nice. Nice experience. I met so many amazing people. In the, it helped me so much. Uh, I learned so many things, and it gave me a chance of a career, yeah. Amazing. And how many years was this degree? Uh, it was four years mm. because it was included of a foundation year. No, oh, okay. Tell me more about this foundation year. I'm 32 years old, so I finished my A level when I was 19, and then I've done a few um, courses back in Italy. And then when I arrived here, uh, I thought that doing a foundation year was more useful for me to learn more about the university here in, uh, in England. So then I've done this foundation year and then the three years courses in business and management. Okay, so now I would like to talk about filmmaking. Obviously you've done business and management. It's kind of different than studying film because usually and traditionally people go to film school, but you didn't do that initially. So how, like, did you always want to become a filmmaker or, you know, how did that go about? Uh, I've always been passionate about filmmaking and directing. When I arrived here, I had this friend of mine, she was working uh, uh, for various film and a big production company. So her recommendation was that a degree in filmmaking wasn't like, I don't want to say useful, but that a degree in marketing or management was more um, a good option for me. Mm. And I'm also passionate about marketing and management and I was indecided between producing and filmmaking. So my idea was uh, to do a degree in business and management and taking some filmmaking and cinematography courses alongside while I was studying at uni. Let's talk about these courses. I think you've done one in rain dance. And what yeah. other courses have you completed in this time? I've done a cinematography courses in rain dance. Uh, I remember my teacher, he was an amazing person, amazing DOP. Uh, he teach me on how to use a web camera, some professional camera and lenses. Uh, and I thought, uh, I'm a director, I want to be a director, but I want to learn more about the technical aspect. And I come from a background of studies in filmmaking and producing. So I thought that having a general knowledge of every aspect of filmmaking was useful for me. And it was a really uh, amazing experience that I recommend to everyone. Yeah, amazing. Okay, so what have you been up to? Have you directed anything recently? Yeah, uh, I've done, a f I started directing various short film, music video and commercial. Uh, my last film called The Truckman, which is now in post-production, uh, wrote, I wrote and directed, uh, we finished filming in May. It's a film about drought tissue, uh, shortage of water, and uh, about the conflict that may happen between uh, various people after a shocking event. So I wrote this film during the second lockdown, and I thought that what kind of event after a pandemic uh, can divide the population? And water is actually the, um, uh, the first important source for humanity. 
And while I was writing the script, I was reading a few articles from The Guardian and other sources about the chance the UK by 2050 uh, could have shortage of water. Actually, UK is one of the most affected countries by shortage of water. This is a sci-fi, I assume? Uh, it's a sci-fi um, and I love the idea of realizing a drama sci-fi uh, combining various and different elements. Uh, I thought that this could be a good addition to the, um, to the film. And also, I always wanted to direct a sci-fi. I've got inspired by many films like Blade Runner or even some, uh, some anime. I remember I was, when I was a child, I was watching this anime called Akira or Ghost in the Shell. And those are sci-fi, but deep inside they go like a really deep meaning that talk about humanity. So I thought that I could put all those elements into the Trackman. Amazing. And what do you plan on doing with the Trackman? Well, uh, my idea with the Trackman, I already started writing the script for a future film. So this short film is actually a kind of a prequel. Because when the audience is going to watch the film, they're going to see that this film go an open ending. So, and there is also a feature film ready because the background of the Trackman is not about the story of shortage of water, it's the story about the relationship between a father and a son who are traveling the country, uh, helping other people trying to access water. But there, are, there is also the fighting between those two factions. So the idea is to do a feature film that explores all those contexts. It sounds amazing. Spoiler well, alert, I'm in the film. Spoiler alert. Okay, so um, obviously you were an international student. You came from Italy. Did you feel like Northampton University provided a supportive environment where, I mean, did you feel supported? Did you feel safe? Or were you like fish out the pond? I felt supported and welcomed into the university. Of course, the first year was a little bit, I was, I don't want to say I was struggling, uh, but it was a complete new environment for me. Mm. But I had a lot of support from teacher, lecturer, uh, also they've done all those courses, which I recommend to everyone who's going to university about uh, mindfulness, uh, well-being, how to dealing with stress management, because you go a lot of assignments, you go uh, lots of people for various background, uh, different nation. So I think that yes, they helped me a lot to go through uh, this path. So we have loads of prospective students watching this YouTube channel, and maybe some of them would like to become directors or writers in film and TV one day. What kind of advice would you give them? The first advice is to try everything. There are like many, many paths that can lead you into the right way. My advice to them is to don't be scared to try new things. Try new career path, jump out of the comfort zone. This is the main first advice. Experimenting, writing, uh, switching from a role to another, get into the field and try, 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 fail learn, succeed, try, fail, learn, succeed. Wow, great advice, love it. I hope so. <laughs> Andrea, thank you, thank you so thank much. You. Alrighty guys, so that was the end of our interview with Andrea Catinella, filmmaker, director, writer. Fancy, fancy titles, right? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this interview. If you've got any questions to me or Andrea about filmmaking, please put them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel here at Londoners DMC and give this video a huge thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>